Okay. Oh, I should have deleted some, made some space on my storage. Um, hey guys, hope you're doing well. Right. Enlightenment, someone could be being enlightened by something, all right? Miracles. Right. Let's see what comes out. Gratitude, appreciation, and thanks. Okay, I'm picking up the ancestors. All right. Stand up, steadfast vision. So this is about standing your ground in regards to something. Could be a gift that was left to you too, because I'm seeing this right here. It looks like a box opening up that um, maybe a grandparent, you know, left you, or could be um, physical, could be spiritual. All right. So you're standing up for um, what you believe in, okay? Said fast vision. I'm an intuitive reader too. I read energy. Uh, I don't read tarot. Um, like I know what the tarot means, but um, the messages I get come from the other side, the angels. All right, ancestors, and sometimes it's just energy. All right, so, um, like, um, it's important that we only take the parts that are for us, and we need to understand how energy works. Also, um, when I open a door, it's in the spirit realm, so, um, this is all spirit, um, happening in the spirit realm, which then manifests down here. Another thing I want to discuss is, um, how justice works, okay. Sometimes it's by, um, you know, with the justice system, but first it happens in the spirit realm. So if that looks like karma, all right? So like what is done to one happens to them, okay? So if someone did you dirty, um, sometimes, and, and, and the way and timing, it's all different because time is an illusion here on this physical plane, all right? So we kind of got to look at stuff like that because someone said something. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but... Um, how people who have been trauma and abuse should not do tarot or watch tarot. I understand what you're saying. However, I have healed tremendously through tarot. You have to have discernment and know what messages are for you. Because when you're watching collective readings like this, the timing for everybody is different. We're on different timelines. Or we're on the same timeline if you resonate with the message, but in different parts of the timeline. Okay, so the timing for you is going to be different for somebody else. And the way karma or justice is served is going to show up different, okay? Some of us might not see justice on the physical plane in the way that we want to see it, okay? It might show up different, like um, what was done to you will happen to that person. We don't have control over the time, nor should we be concerned about it. That is something between that person and God or the creator or the angels, okay? All right, so that's an important message. Um, yeah, we got Jesus and Mary. So it's important that we understand how energy works also because it's it's fluid. It moves and it can change and shift, okay? Because when I do these messages, I have people who watch. What they do when they get the message can change the outcome, okay? So I might, I might, I might um, predict something, but, and it could happen that way, but things could happen in the meantime, right? The way the energy works. Um, that can change that, okay? So it's important to keep that in mind also, all right? I understand. I, I want justice for the things that were done for me too. I really, truly do, and I get frustrated. So I understand what you're saying, all right? But um, I don't think that, um, you know, some people maybe shouldn't watch tarot, you know? If they take every message for them and um, they don't understand how it works, okay? So that if this is kind of like needed to be said said all right and please don't take offense to that i'm just trying to explain how energy works i read energy and i and i'm an intuitive reader um so the five of cups for me could mean something different than what it really means in tarot like i'm not a tarot reader all right like i read tarot but i read energy all right there's a difference because some people read tarot they they know it in and out um it's a little different all right um in a way like i use the tarot for your entertainment and I get more off the pictures so like I can look at this not know what this means at all 
get messages from this. I get messages from everything. Uh, something could spill on the floor and I pick up messages. I read clouds, okay? I read... I can just stare into space and get messages, all right? So um, I, I communicate with the other realms, all right? Some tarot readers don't have that ability. I mean, they don't... They do, they might, but uh, it's all our gifts are different, okay? And what we do with them is different. I choose to use tarot to get my messages out. I don't need these cards. I still get the messages, the downloads, and it's the same energy that a tarot reader would read, okay? So um, that's just something I wanted to clarify, okay? I'm not offended. Um, I hope you're not offended by this. This is a specific message, but it's going to help many people. So, um, all right. That's how that works. All right. So shared mission. You have a shared mission with somebody. Okay. A masculine or a feminine. And it can be, you could be the same sex, but somebody's in the masculine, someone's in the feminine. We all have both. All right. We have masculine and feminine in us. Uh, so sometimes the man can be in the feminine energy and the woman can be in the masculine energy. Okay. And sometimes that can switch. All right, so, so adversity, change, okay? It says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn, and I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So change, expect it, okay? It might be challenging, the change that's about to take place for some people, but um, it's always for our greatest good, always. Everything that happens in life, is for our greatest good. Even if it looks like it's meant to tear us down, it's like um, there's the lesson. There's a lesson in that, okay? Sometimes the lesson is just to let things go, and I, I have a difficult time with this, so I get it. Like, I'm with you guys. Trust me. Um, sometimes the lesson is to let to let things go, surrender, because we can't control everything. Because when we're, we're, we're trying to control the outcome or we already know the outcome, we're trying to make it happen faster, that can affect... The speed of it that can slow it down, all right? It can make it happen faster. So it's best to just let the universe handle it. This here is spiritual court, okay? I'm also healing people by giving these messages. If someone's triggered by something, that is a, an opportunity to learn something about your shadow, all right? Or change something about you, okay? Um, but I understand what this person was trying to say. I do. Cause it, it gets frustrating. Uh, so it's important to set time limits on how much we watch and who we watch too. That's the other thing. It's very important that we use discernment when um, watching tarot or reading tarot. Okay. Our intentions are a lot too. Um, you know what I mean? Like I don't get off on calling karma on people. Uh, that doesn't, but balance needs to be restored into the universe. All right. Um, health says I will um, honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul so it's important to take care of ourselves at this time focus on your health all right what you're what you're intaking your diet which is the things we watch and focus on things we eat okay it's important to raise our vibrations at this time all right because if you're feeling attacked by something when you raise your vibration you're learning lessons um trying not to repeat the same cycles, um, that puts you up into a higher vibration. We're healing those lower vibrational energies like jealousy, greed, you know what I mean? And um, the attacks don't seem to work much, like people talking shit, okay? That stuff ain't going to bother you anymore. I don't care how you feel about me. I don't, I don't care. Like, that's your problem, right? Um, I used to be so concerned about what people would think about what I'm doing or... The, it's between me and God, all right, or the angels or my ancestors, because I was chosen for this job to help heal my bloodline. I know certain people watch, okay, and believe it or not, whether they believe it or not, that they are still healing because if they're going, if they have a problem with what I'm saying or doing, right, they're looking at themselves. They're looking at them sh their shadow. All right. I had to, I went through it too. So I'm not exempt from what I had to learn, the lessons. Okay. I just did it quietly. All right. 
But believe me, I watched videos that triggered me. That was something I needed to heal. If something triggered me, that's my problem. It's not the reader's problem or, okay. But it's important to understand how this works too. That's the other thing, um, how it's energy, okay. Everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different too. Like this video can resonate with so many different people in so many different ways. All right. Girl fight. Yeah, someone wants to fight with you. Arguments. All right. You're moving on from this. You know, a fake smile when you see it now. Okay. People are trying to get some sort of photo proof or um, picking up on like screenshots to say you're crazy or you're abusive or no, you've been abused. All right. It's, it's your reaction to the bullshit that people are doing behind the scenes or right in front of your face. Okay. So now people want to fight with you, all right? Or maybe this is you who has the evidence, right? But someone's reflecting on this, all right? They try, uh, what, they, what they do is they'll, they'll email or text things to save their ass for their lack of responsibility or, or um, to try to make themselves not look like the liar or the one who didn't do what they were supposed to do. I get this often. Like they try to set set it up to make it look like you're you're mean or but they they leave things out, right? We we're going to leave out the part where I'm provoking you, right? To get you to that point where you sent that text message because you've had enough. That's abuse, okay? It's manipulation and abuse. It's a narcissistic tactic, all right? Yeah, someone's moving in silence because of this. Someone's hooked. So someone thinks they got, got something or um, has someone stuck or or someone caught on to something, all right, by reflecting, okay? Divination abuser. Yeah, it's like um, someone tries to tap into your energy and, and you're vibrating too high now, so they're getting sick because they're not used to being... Um, in an energy that's so high vibrational, all right? So people are getting sick when they tap in your energy now, and if they aren't, they will now, okay? Because I said it. <laughs> Crying over you. Someone could be um, really upset, hurt. Um, maybe it's because of something they didn't do or should have done, could have done and didn't do, or that they're doing now, all right? Digging up dirt, okay? Looking, looking up dirt on you, okay? Or vice versa. This is you. This could be you. Okay, this could be karmic friends that are cloud hungry. All right. Can't fully trust these people, but I feel like you know that. Someone could be Carlos. All right, and you're blocking negativity. People could be sending you, um, or people who are in your energy have really bad habits, and you could be picking up on that. All right, so just be be um, mindful of that. They want you to um, go back to low vibrational ways. All right, same shit, different day, right? You should be used to this by now, you know? Um, which, But this keeps coming out. I'm not sure why. So either they watch or this is telling a story about what took place, all right? Because nobody's neglecting their child here. Um, nobody is um, abusive or um, using, doing bad habits at all. So, um and you're not around people who are going to set you up and put something in your drink and then call the next day who pretend to be your, your friend. Because that's what I'm picking up from this. All right. Karmic friends. Right. Okay. You could have party with these people. They're reflecting on this now. What they did. Or this is you reflecting. Yeah. These people are happiness haters. Okay. Your, your light irritates their demons. Okay. They got nothing on you. Nothing. They, so they make shit up. Right. Exactly. Hey, I'm saying you're always partying. That's a lie. Bold face lie. Okay. Even back then when all this shit happened to me, right? I wasn't partying all the time. I wasn't. And I wasn't doing what they said I was doing. All lies. Okay. Spiritual haters. Yeah. They hated your spirituality and your hustle. Okay. And your, um, your willingness. Like you're, you're unwilling to ever give up on yourself because you know who you are now and you know, um, you, you just know now, right? You know you know what's going on. You, you're aware of... You might not have been aware of the situation, what was happening behind the scenes, but um, you caught on quickly, right? Um, 
you know, wasting time. They're wasting their time now, okay? Or someone could be feeling stuck with no changes, all right? Someone might want to give you money, and they could be saying you ain't shit, or, um, or they're refusing. They could be saying that you ain't shit when it comes to your creativity, okay? Or what you're putting out. But um, these people are groupies and they like to talk in groups, all right? Um, yeah, they could be fishing for comments in your or or in your comment section, right? Fake flexing, all right? This is about to run out of time. But I just wanted to kind of share a little bit about um, what I do and my intentions for why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, I was, I was, I made a deal with my ancestors. Uh, tarot has been very healing for me. Um, it has helped me in so many ways. Uh, with my ascension, okay, um, and communicating with my guides and um, the angels and stuff like that, I've learned so much. So um, it's never, what I do is to project or put out bad intentions for people, but um, this is spiritual court. It is what it is, all right? So you guys have a great day.